Hi everyone, welcome back to my 11 plus videos. My name is Katie and I am the 11 plus tutor here at howtobecome.com. Welcome to this video focusing on the maths 11 plus questions. So the maths test is comprised of one test and one answer booklet. It's recommended that you answer all the questions you can in good time and not spend too long on a question you're not sure on. This means that you can leave yourself time at the end of the test to go over and try again on any questions you are unsure of the first time round. You will not be able to use a calculator during the test and you will be provided with space on the answer booklet to show your workings out if necessary. The test will include an array of different types of math problems you will have studied at school. So the exam board advised that once the test has commenced you will be unable to ask about any of the questions within it. So here is a few 11 plus examples and this example is based on fractions. As you can see there's a definition of fractions and um, how a fraction should be laid out and using fractions in different types of contexts. Okay? So this just gives you an idea of the, some of the stuff, obviously, obviously um, it's not extensive, that you should know for your 11 plus exam. You can pause the video now and you can have a good read through this yourself. So obviously this is just focusing on fractions but it might come in handy for you when, when it comes to revision. So here's another example and this is understanding time. You will be expected to be able to use the 12 hour and 24 hour clock and we've broken up a few key facts that you should know already. Okay. So again, you can pause the video and have a good read through. Okay, so let's move on to some 11 plus practice questions. Okay, so here we have a diagram. Okay, so question one, Theo is arranging blocks in patterns. The block he is using are all the same size. So this is the block that he is using. So question 1A, what is the area of the shape Theo would require to fill the gap in the middle? Okay, so this is the gap in the middle. So you need to work out the area. Okay. And the second part of this question is what is the perimeter of the shape that Theo has created? Okay, so this question is referring to these bits here. Okay. So you can pause the video, you can um, jot down some notes and keep your answer and then we can go through the answers at the end. Okay. So question two. Scarlett only knows the time using AM PM times. She is struggling to convert the times using the 24 hour clock. Scarlett wants your help. Match the AM PM times to their 24 hour clock. Okay, so here we've got our AM and PM and you need to link them to the 12 uh, the 24 hour clock. Okay? So you can draw this out yourself on a blank piece of paper or you can just make sure that you um you know your answers so when it comes to sharing the answers at the end we can you have a good idea of what you've um what you've written down okay so question three so if the statement is true put a tick in the box if the statement is false put a cross in the box so four three is equivalent to sixteen twelve true or false twelve over six in its simplest form is one over two 24 over 11 is already in its simplest form. And finally, 50 grams of flour, 40 grams of sugar, and 100 grams of butter. In its simplest form, this would be 5, 4, 1. Okay, so all of those questions are true or false. You need to write whether they're true or whether they're false. Okay, so you can pause the video now before we move on. And if you do have your answers, we can have a look now. So question one. So the first part of the question, your answer should be 4 centimetres squared. The second part should be 22 centimetres. Question 2, as you can see, I've linked up the times accordingly. So your answer should look exactly the same as that. And finally, question 3. So um, part A is true. Part B is false. Part C is true. And D is false and there I've provided some brief explanations just in case you've got the wrong answer and you want to know how to reach the correct answer. Okay. 
So that's it from me everyone for this video on the 11 plus maths. To find out more details about um, the 11 plus including the verbal section you can click on the career vids 11 plus playlist you can go on to how to becomes a 11 plus resource page where you'll find all of these videos uploaded with lots of information and useful tips okay so that's it from me thanks for watching everyone and i wish you all the very best